there's a look inside. Meehan Auditorium, home of the Brown Bears, playing host tonight to one of the top 15 teams in the nation, the Dutchman of Union. And almost already just 15 seconds. Make it 10. Bird comes up with the puck. Union still struggling to gather the puck at all. Bodwin that time with Bird, the twosome. And now you don't want to have a mental breakdown here it comes the other way the drive in front the score all that work for nothing and union is gonna get on the board first the two on one break yields a dutchman goal and with the finish is ryan scarpo to put union up one nothing now the penalty was technically just off the board but i think it should go on as a power play goal because the bears had not yet reset we'll see if they officially put it on Either way, Mike, what a shame. A couple of early struggles here in this first period. One has already led to a Union goal. That one almost led to their second. And that's, I think, the difference. Union had their struggles on the blue line, Mike, on a couple of shifts. And now the Dutch with numbers. The shot, the snap, the save. What a save by Nieto <laughs> diving across to his left and actually got his blocker all the way across his body. And you heard a little groan from the few folks that are here. That might be one of the best saves we'll see all season long. Oh. Up top, Gottlieb. Right side, Lafferty. I checked that was Corcoran. Bird, the one-timer, saved by Sakelaropoulos. Back up top, Gottlieb fanned on it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the last guy you want getting set. There's already the penalty. Yeah, Vecchioni breaking in. The shot and the score! He is that good, folks. Mike Vecchioni outracing the Bears after the turnover. His third shorty of the season. And, Mike, if you're going to take a shorthanded penalty on the power play, you best not let him score. Because to add insult well, to injury, Gottlieb's is still heading to the penalty box. Oh, Mike, yeah, I mean, that is just the... Uh the double whammy there, the goal and the penalty. And, you know, Vecchioni, the nation's top point scorer and goal scorer, adding to his totals now 17 goals on the season, 32 points for the senior. That's got to be one of the front runners right now for the Hobie Baker Award. Numbers, Sapinski working in, takes a shot off the pipe. Had Nieto moving, and the Bears might have glanced off his elbow, but it hit the pipe. We heard it all the way up here. Another drive by Tim Lappin. Over for Bodwin in front march and scores! Crucial goal for the Bears. Bodwin and Lappin for Tommy Martian. And the Bears get on the board. It's two to one. Well, Mike, for as many issues as Martian has had so far this season, I felt he's been the one guy really bringing it this entire game for the Bears. He's out there delivering big hits, trying to make things happen offensively. Finally, Gets that big goal for the Bears. Gets them right back in it with less than a minute left in this second period. And without McArdle into the slot, it hits a skate. Fu just couldn't handle it. I think if it had gone in, it would have been called a kick. Sapinski for Taylor. And now back to Sapinski near side. Fu back up top. Taylor pass was hot. Vecchioni's open right side. Has the puck. Taylor between the circles. Looks back for Sapinski. Comes back. Fu. Wrist shot. Score! They got Nieto to drop and top shelf where Mama, as you would say, keeps the cookies. Yeah, it wasn't clean. I mean, it was off a deflection, but, but it did it wind went, up. And, uh, um, and yeah. it's 3-1. to one. Spencer Fu getting it done. The top line of the Dutchman comes through once again. Fu's eighth of the season. It's a power play goal, Mike. No, Lafferty on the puck. Had Gottlieb gets it to him. Tough pass across, and that's Vecchioni yeah. out to Vidmar. Vidmar out towards Taylor. Taylor back to the near wing, Vidmar. Full ice keep away for the Dutchman. That'll be a hand pass. They wave it off because one of the Union skaters hit it with a stick. Willman working back in, little dipsy do move. Gets it to Corker and Willman in deep. Got to Kelleropoulos to drop. Puck is loose in front and the tied up. I see Sakelleropoulos in the goal and the net, the puck mic plain as day right in the crease. Well, there was kind of a big hit towards the end. It might have been Vidmar getting a shot in on Willman. Yeah, right in the back. But they're not going to call that in that sequence. 
Well, a nice little move there by Willman to kind of get the shot in on Sakelaropoulos. Puck did trickle around there inside the crease for a bit before he finally was able to cover it up. Martian is going to hop on. I'm surprised we hadn't seen him yet. Agreed. 45 seconds left. Well, there go the football players. I'll watch the rest of this one from the near side. 45 seconds left. Thought that was them over there. Puck in the corner. Willman for Corcoran. Back to the near side to Dashers. Willman on the puck has Gottlieb up top. Swings it across. Too much on the pass for McArdle. And out to Lichtenwald. Icing will be waved off. Gottlieb, who's been out there for the bulk of this 213. Out to the left side. Corcoran drops it for Martian. Centers Willman. The drive is off the side of the net. Lafferty for Willman. Ten seconds for Gottlieb. Over for McArdle. And the Bears aren't even going to get a shot off. No situational awareness, Mike, as Lafferty fans. Uh, yeah, tough. Again, you know, Union not making things easy, really packing it in. Nowhere to really shoot the puck, Mike, and they weren't expanding no. out enough and moving the puck quickly enough to uh, to open up some of those shooting lanes. 